Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Diamond's Dart 750 turboprop aerobatic trainer flies. Virgin Galactic plans commercial space flight for end of June. Ryanair chief pilot dismissed over sexual harassment claims. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Diamond's Dart 750 turboprop aerobatic trainer flies. Diamond Aircraft's PT-6A 25C powered Dart 750 aerobatic trainer has made its first flight at the company's Austrian headquarters. The test flight spanned 30 minutes and covered all basic flight maneuvers and performance and handling checks. The aircraft and all evaluated parameters met or exceeded the expectations of the machine's designers. Diamond Aircraft's head of design, Robert Kremnitzer, stated, quote, This flight marks another major milestone in the Dart 750 program and demonstrates the entire team's hard and excellent work in getting it achieved. The positive results make us confident in moving forward with the program as intended, end quote. Diamond's Dart 750 will emerge from its flight test regimen and regulatory travails a civil-certified all-composite aerobatic turboprop trainer in a tandem seat configuration. Powered by Pratt & Whitney Canada's 750 SHP PT-6A 25C turboprop engine and featuring Garmin's G3000 avionics suite, the Diamond Aircraft Reconnaissance Trainer is the centerpiece of Diamond's Dart Basic Training Solution, a modular training scheme comprising the aircraft itself, a proprietary Dart FNPT2 flight simulator, and Dart computer-based training experience. By virtue of its DART basic training solution, Diamond Aircraft sets out to comprehensively facilitate all didactic and practical phases of basic flight training. And coming up after the break, Embraer debuts C-390 Millennium Flight Simulator. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Embraer debuts C-390 Millennium Flight Simulator. Embraer has debuted the first full flight simulator germane to its C-390 Millennium, the plane maker's medium-sized twin-jet military transport aircraft. The inauguration ceremony was held at the company's Embraer Academy facility and attended by representatives of the Brazilian and Portuguese Air Forces and representatives from German automotive and arms manufacturer Rheinmetall. The Level D KC-390 flight simulator includes operation under normal and emergency conditions and more than 350 failure simulations. FAA revises Space Launch Airspace Closure Protocols The FAA contends commercial airline passengers bound to Central Florida airports from northeastern U.S. states will no longer experience delays or reroutes during what the agency called typical space launches. Based on analyses of past space launches and data provided by the U.S. Space Force and major space launch concerns, the FAA has determined existing airspace restrictions pertaining to Florida launches are generally excessive and may be safely reduced. 13 million euros in French taxpayer money to Elixir Aircraft French President Emmanuel Macron announced on the eve of 2023's Paris Air Show that France's taxpayers had unknowingly provided Elixir Aircraft a 13 million euro grant. As part of a total financing package totaling some 40 million euros, the funds will be applied to the company's industrialization. The monies purloined from the French populace will finance the construction of a new 10,000-square-meter elixir production facility on La Rochelle, France's Ile de Ré Airport. Billy Nolan named Archer Chief Safety Officer Archer Aviation, the California-based designer of electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, announced on June 13 that former FAA Administrator Billy Nolan had been named the company's Chief Safety Officer. 
Mr. Nolan's expertise in matters of flight operations and aviation safety promises to better Archer's chances of successfully commercializing urban air mobility at scale. During his stint with the FAA, Mr. Nolan spearheaded the agency's efforts to facilitate the safe integration of eVTOL aircraft into the U.S. national airspace system. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Virgin Galactic plans commercial space flight for end of June. Despite a fairly small number of test flights, Virgin Galactic announced the date for its very first commercial space flight, planning on launching between June 27th and 30th of this year, with another mission on tap for early August. Virgin Galactic has been hammered by the stock market when it fell from its optimistic high of $55.91 in June 2021 to single digits. In 2023, the stock has bounced from low $3 to mid $6, depending on the level of market enthusiasm and confidence. The launch news proved to be a shot in the arm for Virgin Galactic when after-hours stock prices vaulted it from $4.06 to a high of $6.41. Whether it can sustain that enthusiasm will depend on a successful flight. The first commercial operation, Galactic One, will take a team of specialists from the Italian Air Force and the National Research Center of Italy as they look to conduct microgravity research. CEO Michael Colglazer said, quote, This next exciting chapter for Virgin Galactic has been driven by innovation, determination, and a commitment to delivering an unparalleled and truly transformative customer experience, end quote. The question remains, are they really ready for commercial service or rushing things a bit in order to restore some value to the faltering company? And coming up after these messages, Ryanair chief pilot dismissed over sexual harassment claims. Unbridled passion unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Ryanair chief pilot dismissed over sexual harassment claims. On June 15, 2023, Ryanair fired its chief pilot following an investigation into the latter's alleged, quote, pattern of repeated, inappropriate, and unacceptable behavior towards a number of female pilots, end quote. Named in reports as Aidan Murray, the sacked individual has been with Ryanair for 28 years and was appointed to the carrier's chief pilot in 2020. Mr. Murray, age 58, allegedly harassed eight junior colleagues, pestering some with text messages including comments pertaining to their bodies. Murray is accused also of altering flight rosters for purpose of ensuring he flew with certain female colleagues. In a staff memorandum, Ryanair's chief people officer, Daryl Hughes, stated Mr. Murray's employment had been, quote, terminated with immediate effect. Hughes contended an investigation had determined Murray's behavior was in breach of Ryanair's anti-harassment policy, which sets forth Ryanair staff are deserving of a safe and secure environment. Mr. Hughes concluded, quote, We would ask all of you to respect the privacy and integrity of those brave individuals who came forward to assist us in this investigation, end quote. Mr. Murray has seven days to appeal his dismissal. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.